Amen. 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 Come on, let's give Jesus Christ a hand off and a praise. Amen. You've been listening to the gospel musical stylings of Professor Smiley Brown and, and uh, his drummer, Brother Malachi, and guitarist, Elder Calvin King, and Brother Peter. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm just rocking side by side here this morning. Glad to see everybody. Again, Happy New Year to everyone. Glad to see all of you back in the house of prayer. And uh, we know this new variant and virus is causing people to kind of hold back. And, and, uh, but we're covered under the blood of Jesus Christ here today. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm covered by the blood. Amen. So we just want you to enjoy service today. Worship along with us. Enjoy the presence of God in this place. Amen. Let's glorify him and magnify his name. Aren't you glad to be saved today? How many glad to be saved and know the Lord? Yeah. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord bless you this morning. We thank God for you. We thank God for the presence of the Lord in this place on today. Amen. Our sister Pierre uh, Richards is coming to share with us this morning's um, scripture reading from Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 25. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Good morning MTC family here in person, and I'm glad to see we have a lot of people here today despite what's going on around amen, us. Amen. We still trust God. Amen. Uh, good morning to those online and in the U.S. and those around the world. Thank you for joining us. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Yes, yes. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk yes. in the Spirit. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you for the scripture reading this morning. I pray that you are being blessed and you are blessed right now. Amen? Amen. And we're just thankful for the presence of the Lord in here and for each and every one of you. And so at this time, we're going to have our prayer request. Um, at this time, I'm a little uh, tense this morning because I got a call from Sister LaShawn that they had to rush Brother Wendell to the hospital 
about 30, 45 minutes ago, uh, he was having seizures and she thinks that he might have had a, another stroke. So if I step out of the service, um, that's because I'm going to see about him. But I, I just want you to keep the saints of God in prayer, amen? amen? So much is happening so fast around us that we want to pray and lift Wendell up today. He's a faithful brother that loves the Lord. He's at Bible um, study on Tuesday nights. And he, if he can get here in his wheelchair, he's here. Amen. He loves his church and he loves his pastor. Amen. Amen. And I love him so very much. And I know God is there with him, with he and uh, LaShawn, and everything is going to be all right. I'm praying and believing that with all my heart. Amen. So let's keep him in our prayers. And not only him, but others. Amen. We are praying for the saints of God everywhere. Amen. There's so much. I, I know I repeat myself, and you hear this from me every week, and you know it to be the truth as well, that from Sunday to Sunday, between these, these, these days, uh, so much happens. So yeah. much happens. And, and we just don't know we, uh, what might happen next, but we need to give God praise. Amen. Yeah. You know, everybody was upset at the, uh, at the uh, tsunami that hit on the other day, uh, and uh, uh, my wife was just excited about the fact that the handwork of God, how over 5,000 miles away something can happen, and we can feel the effects of it hours and hours later. Amen, but God is in control, right? <clears throat> He's in control, and we can't do nothing about it but to give him praise, amen. So I want you to pray for the uh, Tonga people there as well, that, uh, we don't know what the reports are, what the damages are, but let's pray for them. I was listening to one of the pastors there uh, who had a family and left his family there, and I ask that you pray for the churches there in Tonga. A lot of Christians are in that island, amen? And so we want you to uh, lift them up as well, and let us just ask God to help us and help us through, amen? To help us through each thing that happens. Help us through. Give us the strength to make it through. And he will. Amen. So may the Lord bless you. I'm going to ask, amen, our Elder Calvin this morning to come and lead us in prayer. Amen. Gracious Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you how you brought us this far, how you let us lay down last night and rise up this morning. Thank you for our right minds. And we thank you because you died one day that we might have the right to the tree of life. We praise you for all things. Now, Lord, we come to you today thanking you, O oh God, again for this day that we can portray the word of God to the people of, your, of, your, your, of this land. Lord, we ask that you go out on the airways and touch people that they, the anointing of the Holy Ghost might touch their souls, their hearts, their minds. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask that you bless, O oh God, those bodies that are ill and sick, those who are suffering from COVID, those who are suffering from heart attacks, those who are suffering from strokes, those who are suffering from captivity, yeah, yeah. captivity. Lord, we ask you to bless the minds yeah. and the souls and the hearts and the bodies of people everywhere. Yes. Our world is depressed. Our nation is in, in crisis that they yeah. need to turn around and serve God the way you have us to serve him. Lord Jesus, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost in every pulpit, in every church, everywhere, touch the hearts and minds of people and men. Lord, we ask you to bless our brother Wendell today. Yeah. Bless his body, bless his mind, bless every yeah. capillary, every thing every part of his body touch it right now and give him healing and Lord, oh God comfort on today Lord. in the name of Jesus we pray those in the land where the tsunamis and the storms and the rains yeah. and the snows hit we ask you to give them shelter oh God in Jesus name they protect them let your arms of protection touch your people everywhere oh God tragedy and, tsunami and things like that are going on all around our world Lord we ask you to touch and bind the devil oh God who's the prince of the air but oh God we stand under the covering of the Holy Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we pray today. Now, Lord, bless the word of God as it comes to us today. Oh, God, anoint the speaker, Lord Jesus. Let the word of God touch the hearts and soul of men and women everywhere. That men might turn around and say, what can I do that I might be saved? In the name of Jesus, we pray. We glorify, we praise you today. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Memorial Tabernacle Church has come together 
by the Holy Spirit for the specific purpose of preaching and teaching the Word of God, the Bible, and about Jesus Christ, God's Son, and to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom of God to the North Oakland community and its environs, to bring healing to the brokenhearted and deliverance to the open. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. By and by, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God are gathering home, we will tell the story how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Our sister Tiffany is going to come with this week's announcements and for the upcoming month. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Excited to be in worship with all of you on today. Excited for another opportunity God has for us to give him praise and to learn more about his word. We're just grateful today. Amen. And I was telling Pastor yesterday, it's just amazing that the God that allowed the tsunami to happen and we see the waters come up on the shore. He's the same God that made you and me. Isn't that awesome? Like just the power that he possesses and he holds. It's just an awesome thought that we, we serve him and we worship him and we honor him every day. So God is good. Amen. Just a few reminders. Just want to remind you all that we pray every Sunday evening between the hour of 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. And then also please remember to join us on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock p.m. For our conversational Bible study class, um, it's an awesome time learning how to apply God's word to our lives. And uh, we're very excited as we've been sharing, Sister Valerie has been sharing uh, week after week about the, the way that our Hope and Faith Mental Wellness Program is coming together. It's going to be an awesome time of us just learning how to navigate life's stresses, life's journeys, um, everything that goes along with it, but doing it together, of course, with the compliments. And, and the foundation of prayer and our faith. So we have more information about that as the weeks come along, but our focus groups will start meeting on tomorrow. Um, just kind of building that out because we don't know how many people God sends us to be a part of this program. It could be 15, it could be 50, it could be 500, but we know that God will be in the midst of all of it. We're just so excited about how he's continuing to move and bless us here on this corner. So we're honored once again for that opportunity 
And we also just praise God. Um, as you know, tomorrow is the Reverend Martin Luther King's Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Amen. And whatever way you're going to celebrate that, call it a day of service, call it whatever you want to call it, but just make sure, take a moment to just pause and just think about the contributions that he made um, that, that we all benefit from today. Young man, amen? You don't have to do things. He was a young man making change and making change happen. So as you see a young person today or tomorrow, be sure to encourage them to walk in their greatness, to formulate themselves and be greater servants, not only for themselves, but only, not only for the world, but also for God. Amen. So that concludes my announcements. You're now back in the hands of our pastor. Pastor's a little down today. I can tell him when he's giving, but he's still giving God praise. Amen. So let's give him prayer and Stretch our hands out of him, give him some energy and encouragement. But God is still awesome and great. So give him a hand as he comes. I'm not down, I'm just thoughtful and praying and praying for the saints of God. And and uh, we have a busy week and I want you to keep us in your prayers. We have to uh, go to Portland on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to uh, speak at a uh, conference there, and uh, we want you to pray for us uh, that God would take us there safely with no problems and bring us back home safely. Amen. Amen. Um, so, so, as I said, God is an awesome God, and, and uh, we want to keep affirming and reaffirming that throughout this sermon. God is an awesome God, and He's a good God. Uh, Brother Smiley, amen. Whatever God lays on your heart, amen. Just give it to us, amen.
worship him. Amen. Worship him today. Let us worship him today. You know, I, I just think this is a good place, a good place to, that we need now to hear the word of the Lord because there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. You know, I love that song that says, in the name of Jesus. We have victory right now. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of his testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm just going to ask elder words to come right on right now. Amen. And let us hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. To break every chain. To break every chain. There is power. There is power. because we know there is power in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory, honor, and thanksgiving today. Lord, we ask you to bless us in a special way as we share these few words with these, your people. We ask you to let your word come forth with clarity and with power and accomplish everything, God, that you sent it forth to do. And we will magnify you for who you are in the name of Jesus. Amen. While you're still standing, I'm going to just give you a few scriptures that the Lord has given. Bless me. Um, today, I want just, just to be encouraged and to have a theme for our lives this year, year and that is, I will bless the Lord. Yes. I will bless the Lord. Yes. Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. Psalm 103 and 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. 1 Thessalonians 5:18, in everything. Give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This is the word of the Lord. You may have your places. I praise the Lord today because God has been so good to me. He has been so good to me. I just had a very challenging week, but you know what? I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord, and I have decided that I will have a theme for my, no matter what happens, the theme for me this year in 2022 will be, I will bless the Lord. I was thinking of situations that's been going on, contemplating some of the decisions that I had to make, difficult choices. In my mind and in my heart, I was upset. Because in my life, it seems like I'm always the one who has to take responsibility for doing the right thing, trying to take care of things so nothing falls through the, tap, the tracks. But you know what? Sometimes I complain audibly, sometimes internally, but nonetheless complaining. I said, this was Monday evening, I was just going through some things and thinking on the Lord and asking Lord for direction. And I actually said to the Lord, Lord, what can I do? And the answer was, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. And I began to recite people of the Lord, Psalms 34, 1. 
I will bless the Lord because he has allowed me to be in the position that I am to help, to give good counsel, and to make sound decisions. You know, sometimes we complain about the position that we're in, and we don't realize how blessed we really are. In the stuff that we go through, in the challenges that we face, God sees us through. Everybody does not have that testimony. Everybody does not have that testimony. I look at my siblings, and you know, I'm the oldest, and but everybody is full grown. And sometimes I think, and I'm sure if you're the oldest in your family, or one of the older ones, you think that. Like, why does everything fall on me? Why does everything fall on me? Why can't people finally, as old as they are, take responsibility for themselves? But the Lord said to me, you are blessed. Yes, yes. Because everybody cannot make sound decisions. Everybody does not have the ability to see things through. Everybody does not have the ability to know how to plan to get from point A to point B. They can be 30, they can be 40, 50, or 60. And chronologically, they might be that age, but mentally and emotionally, sometimes people are way back where they started from. And I said to the Lord, I will bless the Lord because the Lord has given me the ability. And I thought of David in the scripture as he wrote this. And sometimes when the Lord blesses us, it's not always in a good place. We're not always where we want to be. And this was the situation with David in Psalms 34. David had been running for his life. Saul was seeking to kill him. So in this, in the chapter in 1 Samuel, which is after this situation, David had penned this Psalm 34. And this, he was running for his life, so David had his own plan. So what he did, he decided to go over to the Philistines and devise his own plan, his own solution. Right. solution. There he began to fear for his life. So David was trying to come up with what kind of, what should I do? So the scripture actually says in 1 Samuel that he was running from King Abimelech and he tried to pretend he was crazy. I didn't make this up. It's in the scripture. The Bible says that they thought that he was crazy, so they put him out of the city. The scripture says that he started acting crazy. He was frothing at the mouth because he was trying to come up with a plan to protect his life. Have you done that? Have you sometimes made some crazy decisions because you knew you thought you had the solution? You knew that you, you thought that you knew more than God about the situation that you were in. But in spite of our foolishness, in spite of the things that we stu still do, God steps in yes, yes. every time yes, yes. and he works it out for our good. So David was allowed to escape, but you know, David remember just how good God had been to him. He remembered what God had done and what God had said. So David began to think about the promises of God. And the Hebrew word for prompt the praise the Lord here at ev to praise him at every time. No matter what the situation, David has said, I will bless the Lord at all times. A praise will be on my lips. David had experienced deliverance by the Lord from the Philistines at Gath, and he began to praise the Lord for it. The Bible says he was determined to praise God in every situation. Because you know what, people of the Lord? The Lord is good all the time. All the time. And we say that a lot. God, all the time, God is good. God is good all the time. But I don't think we, it really sticks in our mind just how good God is to us. Whether it's a good day or one of those days when you feel like you want to go back to bed and start all over, I will bless the Lord. Even when things don't look good, we still can get a glimpse of God's mercy and God's grace. So because in the scripture over and over and over again, we see 
people of the Lord who have really been going through, people that had encountered hard situations and circumstances, many of them because they were trying to serve the Lord. And I thought of the Apostle Paul and over in Corinthians when he talked to the Corinthian church, Paul was under house arrest. Yes, the Bible says in Philippians 1 verse 12, uh -huh. he was literally chained to a Roman soldier around the clock. Uh -huh. yes. Can you imagine? literally changed to somebody 24 seven because of his stance and his belief for the Lord. Not only did he begin to rejoice and praise God in the prison, but you know, he sent word to the, Corinth, to the, uh, the church at Philippi and he admonished them to praise the Lord. He said in Philippians four, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. It's about having joy and praise in the midst of our trials, people of the Lord, and our circumstances. This kind of joy only comes when we bless the Lord. When we bless the Lord at all times. Not when things are great, not when things are good, not when I have a lot of money, not when things are going my way, but when I bless the Lord. And we're at the beginning of 2022. It's already started out with many challenges. On the way to church this morning, I heard, I was listening to the news, and it was saying that our former president has already put his bid in the hat for 2024. And you know what I said? I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Because when I think of all the things we've already been through, and the situation that the world is in today, we have no hope outside of God. We have no help outside of God. And the news is full of the pandemic stories, high crime rates, chaotic world conflicts. We all have personal issues, health issues, family disagreement, unsolved issues, so many things to distract us, to unsettle us. Many things cause us to focus so much on our circumstances that we forget, though temporarily, how blessed we are and how good God is yes. to us. Yes. David said, and I will tell you again, this should be our theme for 2022. Yes, I will bless the Lord. Bless means to praise him, to exalt him, and to worship him, to express humble adoration of God, to recognize his strength, his grace, and everything that he has done for us. He is our creator. Right. Glory to the name of Jesus. I remember a song that we used to sing, and the song was, Oh, How He Loves You and Me. Yes. Oh, how he loves yes. you and me. He gave, he gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you and me. And you know, the thing is that this just did not start when God sent his son, but he has loved us from the beginning. So we should have a heart of praise. Praise should every day be on our lips. Sometimes when I'm in prayer, I think of some of the things that God has done for me, and I'm one of those, and Sister Jones is like this too. We cry a lot when we pray. Not because we're sad, but just because I'm humble. Oh, yes. Just by what God has done for me. Yes. When I think of where I could be, yes. where I think of where he has brought me from, when I think, yes. glory to the name of Jesus, yes. of some of the situations I have been in, and in spite of myself, God has been good to me. I will bless the Lord. Glory to the name of Jesus. God, there's a lot of names of God for just so we will realize who he is. Elohim is our creator. He's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He's Jehovah Rapha, my healer. He is El Shaddai, my supplier. God is all of that and so much more. When we bless the Lord, yes. when we worship him, praise him, 
You know what praise does? It ignites the presence of God in us. It's the match that lights the fire of the Holy Spirit that moves in us to do and to be who and what God desires. David was praising God for who he is and what he had done and how he had delivered him so many times. How much more should we bless the Lord? How much more should we give God praise for what he has done for us? Had God not given his son Jesus, we would not have the gift of reconciliation with God the Father. We would not have access directly to the throne of grace. Had Jesus not come and given his life, we would not be saved. Had Jesus not taken the beatings, the many stripes in his body, we would not be healed. Glory to the name of Jesus. Had Jesus not ascended back to the Father, we would not have an intercessor. Glory to the name of God. We wouldn't have an intercessor sitting on the right hand of the Father making intercessor for intercessions for us. Yes. We should bless the Lord. Yes, I will bless the Lord. Yes. We need to bless his name. Yes. We need to give him all the praise that he is due. He's worthy of all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Yes, Had the God the Father, Jesus the Son, not allowed the Holy Spirit to leave heaven and come to earth to live in us, we would not have a conduit. We would not have a line. We would not have a connection that allows us access to be in the presence of God. Glory to the name of Jesus. We should be jumping up and down. We should be running around the church. We should be giving God praise. Because had he not, glory to the name of Jesus, had he not spoken to our hearts, we would still be in our sins. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Glory to the name of the Lord. And continually means over and over and over, yes. again and again yes. and again. Yes. Even when I'm at work, yes. I don't have to walk around saying I will bless the Lord, yes. but in my heart and my mind, yes. I will bless the Lord. Yes. When I'm driving in my car, I will bless the yes. Lord. Yes. Glory to the name of Jesus. When I get up in the morning, I will bless the Lord. When I go to bed at night, I will bless the Lord. In the middle of all of my circumstances, I will bless the Lord. Glory to the name of Jesus. Because there is no other name. Glory. Glory to the name of the Lord. Given <laughs> Glory to the name of Jesus. There is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name. So when I began to give praises to the Lord, the scripture tells me, hallelujah, that I can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I'm weak, hallelujah, the Lord makes me strong. I will bless the Lord. Glory to the name of Jesus. So when I come short of being and doing and obeying everything God has said, he will touch me and get me back on the right track. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. A loving father, a loving God, yeah. our savior that sends the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts, yeah. to lead us, guide us, and direct us that yeah. we, we should go. But the good thing about in all of that, he gives us forgiveness yeah. for our failures yeah. and even our disobedience. Yeah. So we should praise God and invite others to praise him. Because you know what? It starts with our praise. Yeah. Then it becomes a corporate praise. Yeah. It's just like bad news. You know if you start 
talking about something bad, people catch up on it real quick. But you know what? The same things happen when you talk about the Lord. I was thinking about when we were young and they would have us at the altar and there was somebody on one side saying, praise the Lord, say thank you, Jesus. And we would have our little hands up and we would say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we didn't have our eyes open, but in our minds, and we were just kind of, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But you know what? The more we said, thank you, Jesus, and we heard those praises around us going on, something happened in our hearts and in our minds, and there was a, a fire that was lit. And suddenly, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Became, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Glory to the name of Jesus. So when we give God yada praise, we lift our hands. When we shout for joy, we shall shabbat God because God is great. He is an awesome God, as Pastor had said at the beginning of the service. He is worthy to be praised. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises no matter how it looks, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what the situation is, if I have a lot of money, if I had no money, yeah. I will bless yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Because he who is mighty yeah. has done yeah. great things. Yeah. He has done great things. Glory, yeah. he has done great things for me. Therefore, I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh. So that does not mean that I won't be sick. Glory to the name of Jesus. Right. That will, does not mean that we will not have loss. Right. I was looking through a lot of pictures last night and in one of my pictures I had gone home to visit my family and it was all of my sisters, you know, brother-in-laws, my husband, children, different cousins and there as I looked in this picture, there was just so many of my family, they're gone. And I began to really, you know how you, sometimes you get sad and it's just like that grief kind of over, comes back like a flood and overwhelms you. And then I start to think about all that I lost. But you know what praise said? I had, I've lost four sisters, but you know what? I have three left. Amen. Amen. I have three left. Amen. I've lost my husband, but God has been a very present help. Yeah. He has provided yeah. for me. Yeah. He has yeah. made a way for me. Yeah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Yeah. All those things that my husband used to take care of, he's blessed me to finally get it all together. Yeah. I will bless the Lord. Yeah. I will bless the Lord. And I looked at the things that happened, and I was talking to somebody at work on yesterday, just reminded them of how good God is. And I keep, and I said this before, I keep this little um, devotional, the one that we have here, and I have another one that it says, a little God time for women. And I leave it in my desk all the time. And Everybody at some point, whoever is my desk, they open the drawer, they pick it up, and they read it. And I would got an email from a friend that had moved to Sacramento, and I gave her one, and I just pass them out. I pass them out. Probably I bought at least probably 12 of those, and I give them to different women. But yesterday, we were at work, and we began to talk about different things that's going on, and I began to tell them, God has done so much for me. As the scripture says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And one of my coworkers is Indian and a lot of things she does not understand. So, and it's a real opportunity for me to share Jesus with her. So she has, she takes my devotional, she opens it up and it is talking about blessings and what God has done and how he's blessing women and how he speaks to our hearts and he brings us through the situations that we go through. 
And she said to me, do you believe this? I said, with all my heart, my soul, my strength in my mind. Because for almost 77 years, God has been with me. Glory to the name of Jesus. And I told her, had it not been, like the scripture says, for God on my side and working things out for me, I would not be here today. Because medical science says I should not be here. In those situations, sometimes at work, you know how we get looked over, things happen. So in the job market, it says I should not be here. Glory to the name of the Lord. Because enemy sometimes designs situations for us to get us off track. And I began to tell her that. I said, but what we need to do is stand strong in our faith. And sometimes it does not make sense to other people. And many times God does things and says things that I cannot explain. And I told her that. I said, I read the Bible and there are many times I don't really understand some things that it's saying, but one thing I know is I believe that it's God's word. And in due time, he will make it plain to me. And a real good example is in our Bible class, Pastor was teaching other Tuesday night on Daniel. And he talked about in that chapter seven of how Daniel was, had got this revelation, this vision from God, and it just totally wiped him out. The Bible says that he was sick. But I began to read over in chapter eight, Pastor, and it was talking about how he was blessing God. Yes. So, yes. hallelujah. Yes. Yes. So in the Old Testament, they had the hope of Jesus for those yes. people that would believe in it. Yes. But you know what? In the New Testament, and we are part of the New Test yes. Testament, we have the revelation yes. of Jesus. Yes. So all those things that they heard about, all those things that they, we, they read about, we're living it right here. Because if you bless the Lord and give God praise, he will allow you to know in a real way the person of Jesus Christ. So no matter what happens in 2022, people of the Lord, be encouraged. Because we serve a God that has never failed. We serve a God that has never lost a battle. Even when it looked like, even when it looks like the people of God was losing, he stepped in. Look at the walls of Jericho. Didn't it look like they had no hope? And the things that God said did not make sense to anybody. But as they marched around that wall, the Bible said on that last walk around the wall, they began to shout. Yes, 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 yes. They began to shout. They began to give God a Shabbat praise. Yes, yes. Glory to the name of Jesus. Because they knew that he had kept his word. And that's one thing that we can stand on today. The promises of God. He is not a God that he does, he does not lie. He does not fail. Glory to the name of Jesus. And he has sent us the Holy Spirit, to gird us up and to make us strong. And when we walk in faith, believing that Jesus is still the answer and that he will do everything exactly the way that he said, all we need to do is bless his name. Because no matter what we need, it's on the way. If it's our healing, it's on the way. And if he does not heal according to the way I want, I know that he has a plan. So I was telling uh, Sister Jones this morning, I had problems with my feet. And I was going to dress really cute and wear heels and a really nice dress and all that kind of thing. But I get cramps and charlie horses in my foot. And I could not wear any shoe that would elevate my foot at all. So I had to totally change clothes totally changed shoes so I could have something flat. Yeah. And I was telling pastor, you know what? I said, I must be doing something right yeah. because the devil battles yeah. me. Yeah. Oh my God. And it's even worse on Sunday, but I walked around my house this morning, 
limping like this, trying to get the cramp out of my foot. You know what I said? I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. And verse 2 says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And going over in the New Testament, it says, because he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. I bless the Lord in the name of Jesus. You're now in the hands of our pastor. I will bless the Lord and give him glory. Oh, I will bless his name and give him glory. Oh, yes, I will bless the Lord and give him glory, oh, I will bless his name and give him, come on church, sing it again, oh yes, I will bless the Lord and give him glory. Give God praise for it. Yes, in spite of everything, I will bless the Lord and I will give him glory. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless. His home. Come on, everybody, set up and sing that with me. May it be the name. Come on, sing it out. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Well, 
Come on, give God praise right now. Amen. Amen. God is an awesome God, is he not? Amen. I was sitting in the service and Sister LaShawn called me. Thank you and I'm praying for you. Let's pray for her strength. Amen. 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 They finally got him settled and admitted and they're trying to figure out what's going on in his body and his life. And um, But while she was preaching that sermon, I was just saying, bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You know, sometimes we have to get past our emotions and feelings, and that's hard to do sometimes, and reach for faith. You see, God is pleased with our faith. You see, we are human, and we can become emotional, and our, emotional, our emotions sometimes and our feelings will block faith from being uh, activated. So I, I, I have to say, God, help me to get my emotions and feelings in control and, and help me to reach for faith. And so as she was preaching, I was saying, bless the Lord, bless your Lord, bless your Lord. And how many you know that God will hear us when we pray? Come on, somebody say, shall bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on, shout bless the Lord. Come on, shout it again. Bless the Lord. Amen. I will bless the Lord. Amen. And I will give him praise. Thank God for the message today. Amen. This is a word from the Lord for all of us. Amen. And she was talking about the Shabbat praise. And while I was sitting there, I just got an inspiration. I'm not telling you all what to do, but but uh, they have they were talking about plans for if the Lord delay is coming for our church anniversary and if the Lord delay is coming in, in September. And while she was talking about Shabbat praise and they were walking around the walls of Jericho, I said, why don't we just get a hundred folk and, and just march and get our tambourines and guitars and not just stay in one place and just go just march and sing around this church and declare it in the name of Jesus. Amen, about seven times, and then stop in the middle of the street and give him praise. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen, and give him a Shabbat praise. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, I think that will be just fine. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so we're just thanking God for that message. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on, let's pray for those who are unsaved right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, if there's anyone here today and out there listening to this service, that do not know you in the pardon of their sins, I pray right now that they will take, that will, that will take place in their life a time of confession and repentance, that they will call upon the name of the Lord so that they may be saved. I pray, oh God, that the word that was preached today will settle within our hearts, that we will every day, every hour, give you praise and to bless your name and to glorify you for all the things that you have done and all the things that you are going to do. I will bless the Lord, and I will give your name praise. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the message and the messenger. I pray, oh God, let us leave this place just giving your name glory and honor and thanks. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, give him praise one more time. Amen. We want you to get your tithe and offerings ready, and I'm asking again, those of you who are out there listening and participating in our services on Zoom, please uh, go to that website and, and uh, send your tithe and offerings in. If you don't want to do it online, you can do it by mail, amen, but please give your tithe and offerings unto the Lord, amen, because God has done great things for us, amen. He has done great things for you. And so bless him today through your giving, your tithe, and your offerings. Amen. You love the Lord today? Yeah. If it had not been for the Lord, sorry, on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? If it had not
I pray that you will be uh, blessed throughout this day and um, throughout the week and that uh, you will take care of yourselves as the Lord gives you strength. Uh, pray for one another. Pray for the saints of God everywhere. Amen. Pray for the church everywhere. Amen. And uh, uh, lift us up in your prayers. We'll be back Tuesday night for Bible study at 7 o'clock. And then pray for your pastor as I leave on Thursday to minister to the pastors um, in Portland, Oregon. Um, and then I'll be back on Saturday and ready for service on Sunday. But God is good, and I know he's going to give us strength. Amen? Amen? Through it all, he's just been, he's been my protector. He's been my Lord and my Savior. I, I put my life and my trust is in his hands. Amen? Amen. Uh, at this time in my life, I don't know what else to do, but, but to just say, God, you got it. Amen. I, I can do nothing else. Amen. But put my trust in the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask everybody to stand with me today. And we're going to do something just a little bit different. I know I'm, it shouldn't, it's not taking anything away from this powerful service. But in the tradition of those early uh, fathers of our country and those who marched in Selma, those who marched in Birmingham and other places so that we might enjoy the freedoms that we have. Those who went across uh, Pettus Pet Bridge, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but those who stood behind um, and were shot with bullets and those young people that were shot and killed and, and uh, for the freedoms that we're enjoying today. We don't want to be ungrateful, but thankful, right? Yes, yes. We're here because somebody paved the way for us, amen? Right. Yes. Don't ever forget that. All the freedoms that you now enjoy is because somebody paid the price and suffered that we might enjoy those freedoms that we have here today, amen? So in the tradition of our of those civil rights workers and marchers of yesteryear. Let us join and sing the anthem that they sang while they marched down the street. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. I 
Father God, I honor the lives of those who have gone before us. We thank you, Lord, for those who stood for justice and righteousness and for peace. And I pray, Lord, that the journey that is still before us will not come to a place of forgetfulness, that we will press forward and move forward and to continue the battle and the fight, it's not over yet. And while racism and prejudice still raises its head from time to time, through many who do not appreciate and understand the struggle that we have been through, I pray for them like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did, that they will find the love and peace of God in their hearts. And I pray for this nation. I pray for those who, are, who have authority and govern our lives, that they will learn and understand that God is still Lord of all. And without him, this nation will be lost. And I thank you, God, for the message today for the messenger, for everything that was said and done. Now keep us, Lord, as we leave this place and not your presence. And we will be mindful and careful to give your name the praise for these and all blessings that we ask through thy son Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a blessed afternoon. Amen.